The Quarto Star Chase is next. It's a Grade Three Three Mile. I'm pretty sure it's a Quarto Star Chase at Kempton around Christmas time as well. Bridge Pool, Darren Thompson, Bookshop, Daniel French, dressed to impress Craig Beckwith, Langley Street, Graham Clitterbuck, Little Rock Hood, Vinnie Gerard, Philly Eagle, Matt Cooper, San Pedro, Paddy, Vinnie Gerard, The Tree Man, Joshua Sutherland, Agent Arlin, Padre Gogan, Briarwood Lady, Jim Murray, Jennifer Love Hewitt, Matt Cooper, March Tit, Graham Clitterbuck, Music World, David Hooley, New Year's Day, Martin Leedham. Passe, Santa Tomega, Alex Cherry, Passionate Queen, David Rawson, Sandgate, Combax, James Shea, and Secret Passageway for Leon van Rensburg. Massive fill for this, they're away and racing. Very short run to the first. And we've lost one at least. Yep, Sandgate, Combax has gone. I think I... No, I didn't. Anyway, I myself confused there as they get to the second. And they're all safely over the second. So Sandgate, Combax, the horse that departed at the first for James Shea. It's Bridge Paul who's got the lead by about four or five coming into the third fence shortly. With Little Rock Hood in second. And Jennifer Love Hewitt is third with the Tree Man fourth. Briarwood Ladies after that one. That's the Grey. Then Passe Saratoga with Philly Eagle and March Tip. Then on the rail New Year's Day. And towards the back, Bookshot is just the back marker. As they get over the third mistake there by Vinnie Gerard's little rock hood. I've seen that one shuffle down the field a little bit. Only a short one to the first lead. They really attacked that fence and got away from it well. Now it leads by six to Jennifer Love Hewitt, who's been left in second after that mistake by a little rock hood. The tree man is now third. The grey Briarwood lady fourth. As they get to this ditch, which they all got over okay. San Pedro, Paddy and Bookshot the back two. Langley House also towards the rear as they head towards the next. Bridge pull, clearing the lead for Darren Thompson. Over that one they go, we'll jump that one nicely. Briarwood Lady probably just poked her head in second. I to see Jim Murray back with his horses called Lady and Lad and stuff. That's what he used to always be called when I first started commentating way back in the so six days, but it's Bridge Pool in the lead from the Tree Man second, Briarwood Lady third, and then Jennifer Love Hewitt fourth, and Philly Eagle is next, Little Rock Hood next, then New Year's Day creeping closer up the inside, Secret Passageway making a forward move around the outside as they get over number seven, which they all got over nicely, they race up the straight then now, another circuit to go of course, another fence number eight, so they're all safely over. That one should be the last on the next circuit, I would think. Unless there's one more to take. In fact, there isn't. There it is. That'll be the last on the next circuit. And they're all safely over it. Good view of that last fence from the stand. They go past the winning post in now. And then swing out right handed for one more circuit of the track. And it's Bridge Pool who leads by a bad five lengths or so, I would say. Then Brightwood Ladies in second. The Tree Man is third. March Tit is four. Then Passionate Queen and Dressed to Impress, Jennifer Love Hewitt and Philly Eagle with Little Rock Hood. San Pedro Paddy has made good ground, but he's very wide on the track and losing a lot of ground on that turn, as you can see there. Those horses, they take the water, the three at the back now. San Pedro Paddy, Music World and Seagrip Passage, where must have lost five or six lengths going round that turn. Being caught so wide. And it's Bridge Pool getting over Fence 11 in front. On the tree man, if any of those back three win, then they are some sort of horse because they did lose a lot of ground on that turn. Over this ditch they go. And all safely over it. Dressed in press has gone. And Bridge pulls a leader from Pro Old Lady second. Then the tree man and Jennifer Hewitt. And the little Rock Hood next. Then New Year's Day creeping closer. Marsh Tit is after that one. Then Bookshot. That's made a bit of a forward move as well. They've just got a mile left to go now. And they're quite well strung out. Nothing's got anywhere near Bridge Pool yet. Probably been at least three to four lengths clear for most, if not all, of the race. Into number 13. Good jump in second, though, by the Tree Man. Jennifer Love Hewitt. We're in the big race in third, then Little Rock Hood on the outside fourth, the Grey Brywood Lady next, then New Year's Day. That's the leading group as they get over the 14th. Leon Van Brensburg horse secret passageway that was one of those ones caught wide 
has made significant ground. He's now coming to join the leading group. So that one is running a pretty impressive race. They get to the 15th and we've got a change up top then now as the tree man has taken it up momentarily at least from Bridgepool who's fighting back on the inside. New Year's Day has crept through into third. Brywood Lane now being driven into fourth as they take the 16th. Then on the outside of that one, Little Rock Hood and Jennifer Hewitt is next. Here comes this secret passageway. Got to be some sort of an animal, this, as it comes round now. Lost all that ground on that turn coming out of the straight and he's now up to challenge for the lead. Brywood Lady has taken it up. Brywood Lady goes on the grey from Bridgepool trying to fight back. Secret passageway running a monster race in third. Then comes the tree Man, New Year's Day caught a bit flat footed Little Rock Hood trying to go around the outside Jennifer Love Hewitt sticking on in there running a massive race and then after that one is Passionate Queen, they're coming down almost a third last, Brywood Lady landed in front from in second secret passageway then Bridgepool trying to stick on so to the Tree Man and Little Rock Hood New Year's Day, after that one this is the second last, Brywood Lady landed in the lead secret passageway though throwing down a big challenge on the outside these two are well clear from Little Rock Hood Bridgepool next music wheel was a faller at the back but they're racing now inside the final half well, there's a ding dong between Briarwood Lady and Secret Passageway Secret Passageway just poking its head in front it's going to be on the nod and Secret Passageway takes it what a performance Briarwood Lady second Little Rock Hood was next in the tree man New Year's Day was fifth after getting boxed in on the fence and that is a pretty impressive performance from Secret Passageway because he lost a lot of ground on that bottom turn. In fact, that was at Kempton. That race was at Kempton, which is slightly confusing because I'm pretty sure the Cato Star Chase is run at Kempton at Christmas. And we're anywhere near Christmas. We haven't even had a Mackerson Gold Cup yet. Anyway, Secret Passageway is the winner for Leon van Rensburg. A really good performance having lost all that ground on the turn. Second was Brian Lady for Jim Murray. Third was Little Rock Hood for Vinnie Gerrard. Fourth was the tree man for Joshua Sutherland and fifth was New Year's Day.